everyone, welcome back to the New York City weekly vlog coming to you live from Korea time. Um, I actually find this uh, area really interesting. The food selection down here looks amazing. Getting ahead of myself once again, talking about lunch already, and it's nowhere near lunchtime. You know, Midtown isn't the chillest place to start your day, but um, I've got a really good day ahead. It's going to be a jam packed one. First thing on the list is a showroom appointment. I am basically going to a fashion suite. This is how a lot of um, bloggers, street style people sort of get ahead of the trends and pick up pieces in advance for fashion week. Fashion week is next month and you basically just get a sense of what's going to be trendy and you can request some pieces if you see something that you like and um, because for them they're going to get like photos out of it during fashion week and you know outfit posts and whatnot. That's sort of a little behind the scenes of how it all works. I'm going to show you guys along. I don't get to go to a lot of showrooms so yeah it'll be fun. Wear like a chunky sweater over them. Wear you know t-shirt under them. Really great. So pretty. Um and then yeah. Um and then vagabonds, which is so yeah. If you wanna like so pretty. Yeah, the textures are amazing. Really They're like great. quite yeah. unusual. Oh, I love layering slip dresses. This brand is called. Yeah. Circle laundry. Yeah, they always do a good job, and I really like this. Um, shirt from them as well, this little pocketed shirt. Okay, I'm all finished up at the showroom, I'm all sweaty. Picked out a couple of things that I like. I actually saw an Irish brand called Jim and Coffee that I've been keeping my eye on. That's you sort of like um, half casual, half gym wear. Um, that was pretty cool to see them in the showroom. But yeah, I think it was successful. Everyone was really nice, so pieces will be with me by the end of the week. Yeah, time to get out of crazy Midtown. I'm heading down to, oh, Charlie Street to meet Karen for lunch and then we're going to spend the rest of the day filming video. I've never done anything like this on my channel so I'm excited to get filming today and it's just going to be really collaborative. It's going to be a good bit of work put into it but I know it's going to pay off and be worth it. You guys would have already seen it. It was up like two days ago. Next stop, downtown. Are you excited? I'm so buzzing for this. <laughs> We're ready for a challenge. <laughs> well, I've already butchered mine, but this is lunch at Charlie Street. Okay, so me and Karen have made it to Whoa. Soho. We're excited. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. You can see into her soul now. Um, we're going to see how far we can get. Yep. And uh, just we're up for the challenge, aren't we, Karen? No, I can't wait. It should be very interesting to see what, what we you, pick what out. You come up with, yeah, it. yeah, no, because I mean, obviously, we we'll, we're trying to pick out stuff that each other will like, but also it's nice to see someone else's perspective and, and maybe what we think might look good. Like, I don't yeah. know, just a surprise. I mean, Karen exactly. might pick out something for me that I didn't know that I would like as much, and I might keep it then. <laughs> um, it's be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It suits you. It's real. This light is actually real. Oh my god, I literally want to bust out my camera. You look so good right now. Um, we did some shopping. I think we were successful. We're just um, Stop the back. Shopping, the light. <laughs> you can't buy this. You, you can't, can't buy your face, you Karen. Can't look, buy this is alone. <laughs> this is this is it. <laughs> like liked my outfit more than I thought I would. Right, and I saw a couple of pieces that I'm uh, I'm yeah. certainly keeping. It's been a long day. It's been a long day, but we worked hard. Yeah, 
So I'm going to let Karen go now because I've, I've kept her for way too long. I know, I need to leave. It's great working with her and she's just like already such a good friend of mine now. So showroom as well this morning. I've been up for quite a long time so I'm ready to have dinner and chill out. As well, it was just nice to start the vlog out and about because um, the rest of what you're seeing was kind of filmed a couple of days ago. Basically in New York, it's been raining and it's, you know, we've also had guests so I have not been vlogging. Man of the hour has arrived. <laughs> Were you being polite and waiting at the door and like so creeping much. in? I like your t-shirt. Is that the one you got from L Train Vintage? Yeah, boy. Show everyone your top. I got that sprite for you. Because I love you. Yeah. Come on, show everyone your, your cute little vintage find. Karen would be proud. Let's Where? see. What one does that say Where? again? Oh, she's away. Oh, okay. <laughs> So we have no idea where it's from. It kind of looks like almost a bowling top. A restaurant. a restaurant top? I think it's pretty cool for a restaurant top. It's like a peached fabric and everything. It looks like a bowling top. <clears throat> but um, looks, I like it on you. It looks good. Wow. There's a firm wrap on today. I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, what's up? Back at the train station. Nothing new, but it's nice to get out of the house. I'm trying to stay cool. Um, I've just rushed here from filming a video. I filmed a video in like 35, 40 minutes, which if you know, if you're a YouTuber and you're used to like setting up your cameras and everything like that, you will know that is not a lot of time. But I've gotten myself together. Kaha got off work early, so I'm heading in to meet him because we're both going to the premiere of, not the premiere, what am I talking about? Um, the uh, Like a special screening of the new movie, Crazy Rich Asians. Very excited to go, repping my Asians. Um, it's really nice. So yeah, definitely support it when it comes out. It's always good to see diversity and just, it's a step in the right direction for sure. <laughs> In all fairness, there's no way I would have seen. Okay, so Kaha kindly helped me with some content for an upcoming video and some Instagrams and stuff like that. Your girl has got to take every opportunity. I always like the days when he helps me shoot after work and plus I have to make any, any use out of days that I'm wearing makeup and a decent outfit. So, you know, priorities. This is what the little entrance for the Warner Brothers screening room looks like. Very fun. Okay, so we're a little late, so it's kind of quiet at the reception, but I'm excited. A few drinks, a few nibbles. This is the uh, brand that's invited us to the screening tonight. Lots of nice little goodies. Thank you so much. Well, we're out of Crazy Rich Asians, and oh my god, like my makeup is probably fucked because I was like, I think I cried like three times, I was laughing so much. Highly, highly recommend it. Like, I saw a tiny little trailer and it really didn't do justice at all. It was so funny. Um, funnily enough, Kyle was like the minority in the screen. It was such an easy movie to watch. Like, it was funny, it was romantic, it was empowering. Um, it kind of broke stereotypes a little bit. Like, little, like, insider Asian, like, jokes that if you grew up with someone Asian in your family that you would totally get. Um, we'll be going to Kuala Lumpur next year with my family. Hopefully, Kaha will be able to come as well. Um, but I haven't been in, like, two years, maybe. We are having ourselves a right little date night, having a late, kind of light dinner. We are having tacos at Tacombi Nolita. There's a couple of them. I definitely recommend it. But, yeah, we really like their tacos. They're open late, and uh, it's kind of like our go-to light dinner when we're in Soho. It's not too expensive either. The lighting is awful, but here are my sweet potato, vegetarian, cheesy tacos. I got my crispy fish one, and Kyle's got his at the store. So my uh, sweat mustache is gonna bid you guys a candle it. Farewell, good night. Whew, well, aren't I a frizzy mess? God, this humidity lately has been taking it next level. And also, I've noticed a difference with my hair since I stopped using my Bumble and Bumble shampoo and conditioner. It's one of the first world problems with being a blogger, someone online, you get all of this lovely bougie PR stuff and then you can't live without it and then you have to go and buy it. Oh my God, it's like 70% humidity again. So it's pretty deceiving. So that is why I'm wearing my, I'm gonna haunt you in your dreams tonight uh, dress. Had to uh, post on packages. 
and you know cash some checks because your girl got paid oh my god is there anything like being a freelancer and finally getting like your net 60 and net 90 payments in i spoke a little bit about this on instagram but a lot of people don't realize when you work as a freelancer in general but especially if you're a blogger you could be waiting up to like two to three months to actually get paid for the work you do and the work that you see that's been posted so oh it's such a good feeling when you get to cash that check than that when i came in i picked up this bad boy right here which makes me very happy every time i see this packaging it means i got a package from my mom is there anything like a care package when you live abroad it's great so let's see what she sent me she sent me all of my favorite chips i mean some of them have had a rough journey but that's fine um, these are my favorite though sour cream and onion oh they're like you know when you have a sandwich and you have crisps on the side oh my god mom did me right these are my other favorite um tato thai sweet chili oh best sweet chili crisps out there i'm not joking oh these do not feel good oh irish chocolate does not stand up to new york heat these are like really really melted but i'm gonna try and rescue them oh this tesco chocolate with caramel and sea salt is also one of my favorites and i think this is just a new debit card from that all i've been doing today is being my ratchet ass self frizzy hair loungy outfit because this is my life you know i work from home sometimes and we have days like this uh my room is an absolute tip like look at this like nothing's matching it's one of those like in between wash days but oh my god <gasps> new additions to the bedroom what do you guys think they're the plants from last week's haul if you want to see like a little bit of plant shopping it was at the end but yeah we hung them up i really like how they look but yeah i'm going to show you them properly because clearly my autofocus thinks i'm more important thanks Sony. how good do they look it's still a little bit overwhelming for me in this space because i just love having the bare minimum i absolutely i do love them i do feel like they kind of help just complete that section that little corner of the room it's nice to get like little small details like that i got all of the macrame hangers on amazon i believe and i got the pots locally the plants locally and the thing that's hanging off the wall holding it out locally um all in i mean it's all in you know last week's vlog you can see it there put all of these away because your girl has to work out cause on his way home from work we're going to work out together and it's my going to be my first workout back from being sick and just getting my shit together again so honestly i'm really excited definitely exercise has always made me better even if i get nothing else done and just get my workout done i feel like i've done something for myself that's positive for the day really good workout Kaha came down as well and we both worked out I just did a little extra bit of cardio at the end of mine I guess it is true what they say you never regret a workout and sweaty face I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing to the gym it's obviously roasting so I don't have any top on I've got an old Victoria's Secret sports bra that I really like it's just kind of a cross-backed one and new leggings Puma sent these over I picked them and I'm obsessed with the color and the texture of them they kind of look matte but they feel really like slinky and yeah they just got a little bit of an aztec print on them but it was the color that really drew me it's this really pretty sort of like muted navy color i'm obsessed with it and they're dead comfortable in puma i wear um a medium and a small on top but the mediums fit me like really nicely they're not too big uh, or not too tight i mean usually these bands in gym wear can be like really tight for that sucked in effect but these ones aren't at all like they don't feel super compressed they just feel comfy so yeah that's my gym outfit and i just have my puma defies on as well so thank you to puma for always keeping me fresh some things are not so fresh but that's okay holy moly it's days like this where i'm happy i don't need to walk to a gym oh my god it's absolutely torrential the fiddle leaf is getting a nice bit of rainforest vibes but oh my word this is this is intense we can't even see manhattan anymore this is actually oh damn do you see that 
That was cool. That was cool. Oh uh, yeah, that was worth giving up my address for. Got it before me, so he's cracking on with the Hello Fresh. We treated ourselves this week. Kind of getting addictive. Um, like literally hardly doing grocery shops anymore because this is just so handy. So tonight we're making Swedish meatloaf. It's kind of like one giant Swedish meatball. Some kind of nice sauce, mashed potato, and the roasted carrots. So a little bit indulgent with the mash, but hey ho, we got like two relatively healthy ones for the rest of the week. We have grilled cheddar burgers. Really like that they come with like side salads instead of like fries and you're absolutely stuffed. Like the portions are always really satisfying and not crazy unhealthy. So we picked that this week and then, oh, this is what I'm really looking forward to. Hawaiian chicken poke bowls. So it's like peanuts, rice, spring onions, chicken, carrots, all the good stuff. I'm sure you've all heard of HelloFresh before, but it's just a service we've been really enjoying. Gets kaha cooking, uh, not much else would. If you guys want to try it, uh, three meals a week for two people is usually around 60, but you can get like two meals a week for two people for like 40 quid. Basically, you can get yourself a free week of a HelloFresh subscription. There's like no strings attached. Like you just use my link or my code below and you get yourself some free food. And if you don't like it, you don't have to continue your subscription. You won't be charged or anything like that. That's such a New York thing. Like even my friends were all mad into like sharing codes in New York, whether it be for HelloFresh or ClassPass. It's like, you gotta use your friend's code. So I'll pop mine in the description below and hopefully we'll bring you more HelloFresh adventures. Vogue, Vogue. Let your move. Welcome to my bathroom diaries. Um, I thought I'd give myself a quick pamper before like while the dinner's on, like some of it's already in the oven. Just to be totally transparent, I'm using Peter Thomas Roth products today. I'm an ambassador, so this is sort of included in my ambassadorship, sort of sharing every now and again the products that I'm using. So that is a part of this video today. You guys know me, I'm only gonna recommend stuff that I'm actually using. Um, so first off, new product I've been using, uh, it's a new addition to the Potency range, which is probably my most used out of all of the Potency range. It's a targeted spot brightener. It's got two ingredients for um, dark spots and I've been getting a lot of freckles so I'm trying to hit the tops of my cheekbones. I'm following up with the actual potency serum um, as kind of a moisturizer as well because you'll notice that even though it is pricey and I wouldn't, you know, I'm never the kind of person that's, I'm like, go out and get this. I'm always more like, try a sample, see if you like it, try a mini size. I mean, you guys know I love this. This is probably my favorite product out of everything I've tried. It's more of like a moisturizing serum, because this is the size of a regular serum that you would get from most brands, and this is the size of the potency. It's a lot bigger, and it's very hydrating, as you can see. It's very glistening, very glowy. Thomas Roth Hydrogel. Um, 24 karat gold eye patches. There's the fridge, so it's like super cool and hydrating. It always makes me quite happy. Anytime I want a bit of a mood boost, I put these on. <laughs> so even though I did all of my previous skincare and like these aren't going to budge on me, if you do find any eye patches that you use sliding, just maybe do the eye cream step like afterwards. I feel like a glistening alien. Okay, back to dinner prep. The pampering session is done. I just took the eye patches off. It's definitely the most indulgent of the three meals that we picked, but it looks and smells so good. Okay, I mean, presentation could do with some work. I feel like we're missing some green in there, but oh my God, I cannot wait to tuck into this. This is actually like a pretty big portion. Like I feel like they always give you more than what's in the picture. But I didn't have lunch today and I'm absolutely starving, so we are going to scoff this. I have to say, for picking up the camera halfway through the day and just kind of doing normal, boring, working from home stuff, I chatted to you guys quite a bit. We had a good old natter. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Hello everyone. It's nice to pick up the camera and just have a second where I'm not running around. Um, today's been a busy one. Oh my gosh, it's gotten to the end of the week already. Oh, but I'm so excited. I'm actually packing right now. I'm just throwing a few bits into my little away case um, to go back to Ireland. I am just going home really quick for like 
a week just shy of a week um to see family and i'm actually not going to be vlogging or anything like that because this needs to be handed in for repair again because i didn't quite repair it the way i wanted to last time so while i'm away my camera is going to be fixed and um also i don't know it's just kind of it's anytime i go home i do tend to put the camera down if you want really great ireland vlogs watch erica from retro flames videos because she vlogs so much anytime she goes back to ireland but for me I don't know I just switch off when I go back to Ireland I never really have that much on and I just take the time to see as much friends and family as possible so you guys are going to see this um outfit a little bit more up close and in depth in a video I have coming up a little outfits video but it's a Puma by Chantelle Martin collab as you can see by the little tag but basically she does like really cool illustrations and there's just cool quotes and um illustrations all over this I'll try and show you guys can you see there's like the little face at the back it says like cool stuff like do you less be more like it's just I don't know it was just the perfect outfit for me to just try and get shit done today so I got a last minute ASOS order and these came and I'm actually living for them I finally bought myself a new pair of slippers and whether or not I do not discriminate against comfy fuzzy slippery things on my feet finally had a chance to make a bit of lunch such a relief to be done filming i'm really really happy i squeezed in that video because it's a video i really wanted to do i've just been really wanting to show you guys more of my outfits but i'm squeezing in kind of a lunch just so that i'm not starving when i get to the airport um i'm still on that ham and bagel tip guys i'm, I'm still on it what can i say making sure everything is charged i've got my laptop going i've got my away suitcase external battery going um if anyone's wondering i'm such a big fan of away cases as you know but a lot of their newer suitcases have a pop-out battery so these actually just pop out you just press them and um, you can just use them as a regular external battery in your handbag as well so it doesn't always have to be in your suitcase so handy love these 100% worth getting these suitcases and the battery charge lasts for ages and you also look very cool at the airport so that's getting charged and oh also while I'm here look at this i have to give a shout out to this stuff yeah it started fraying up here and fraying right up by um the top of the lead as well i knew it wasn't going to last much longer so i got on amazon and i ordered this i i saw it somewhere like on shark tank or something but it's basically like putty and um, it comes in little packets and you leave it set overnight and then it's still kind of flexible but it's been on now for about a week or two and it hasn't actually moved or budged out of place a lot of you guys out there have an apple iphone charger lead or a laptop lead you want to save definitely recommend this stuff so look what came just in time before me going i can't believe it guys ah! it's only gone and been like three or four months um but it's time i'm sorry i just can't wait i have to unbox and see this before i go i just have to in school, I went to many classes that detailed how not to hold a knife. This would be one of them. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, you guys. It's finally time. Ooh, they included a note. I didn't even expect that much. Hmm, cheers, Susan. Ooh, guys, I can finally die happy. It's my YouTube 100,000 subscriber play button very shiny it's very nice i quite like it it's quite I, well it's as tasteful as it could be isn't it i am so chuffed this is probably the most tangible thing i've ever received regarding anything about being online or anything that i've done online so yeah i'm really proud of myself and i know there's so many people like a hundred thousand subscribers is nothing on youtube anymore you know you could put up one viral video and get lucky and you know be successful that way but this is like six to seven years of hard graft, putting up a video almost every single week. I've been doing this since I was 17, you guys, and I'm, I'm almost 26. So this feels good. This feels real good. Thanks for sticking around, guys. This um, view, though. So this is the new park. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's got these cool sunbeds, very mod. It has a good view of the bridge in Manhattan but it's basically kind of the new spot in Williamsburg where everyone is 
hanging out the weekends when it's sunny. It's kind of like a mini highlight as well. It's quite cool. Hi guys, so we've come out for the evening. I'm meeting Natalia just for like a little catch up, you know, girly catch up before I head off for the rest of the week. So yeah, we just had a little walk around Williamsburg. Um, she grabbed dinner, I got a drink at Starbucks and now we're at Domino Park. It's brand new and um, yeah, me and Carla were actually here last week but it was way too warm. So today it's nice and cool and the sun is setting. It's really pretty. There's Natalia, camera shy as, as always. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for Kahal to get here. We're going for kind of late dinner. Finished chilling up here, but look how pretty it all is at night time. Oh God, I love New York when it's like this. Oh, it's orange though. I feel like we're having a night. Yeah, I mean, they almost got it in the Irish flag order, almost. It's one of those glazed summer evenings, my friends. I just said goodbye to Natalia, we just had a catch up. Always important to make time for your girlfriend. Definitely, if you're a girl out there and you've got a boyfriend, very important to keep your female friendships, or all your friendships, you know, to make time for them. We have decided to eat for the first time at Sweet Chick, which is kind of like a fried chicken place in Williamsburg before we go to see Black Klansmen. We actually saw Spike Lee recently when we were in Williamsburg, didn't we? So it looks like a really good film. <laughs> My merch. I'm repping the Prayer Time Alien. You guys haven't really seen me in this one yet. A mango button up, so hand down, Carl, if you will, if you may. And then um, old mango shoes, which I got a little while back. And a cute little spinal, spinal of London. So that is how I'm styling it. If you would like to cop it, link in the description, please support. Um, they come in two fits, unisex and women's fit. I'm wearing the women's fit now. And it also comes in my conspiracy theorist slogan as well. So go check them out, top line in the description. Ooh, this, this guy sounds very alt-J. 